The J. Ball Auburn Hills facility is approximately 250,000 square feet. 75,000 square feet of that is manufacturing space. It is approximately 650 employees and it provides service to both industrial and healthcare customers. Well, traditionally here at this site, if someone has some sort of problem, an issue, where they require a tooling solution, what they would do is work with a tooling shop that also would do their design. And they go back and forth until they finally had a solution that would be viable. It's a very iterative process that definitely takes a lot of time and communication. So a few years ago, we made the decision to take control of our own destiny and bring 3D technology and the creation of tooling to support our manufacturing needs. As part of this process, our tooling engineer, John Wall, was able to engage Jabel Additive to help us understand more about the hardware and the software. Jable Additive's charter is to accelerate the adoption of additive technologies into our factories, into the factories of our customers. We look for opportunities to accelerate the NPI process, to find short batch production runs designed for additive manufacturing, and other areas that we can deliver value to our end users. With subtractive manufacturing, you're taking a large piece of material and you're whittling away from the end tooling, so you're also paying for all the scrap it produces and the manufacturing of it. Additive manufacturing, whether it be polymer-based, whether it be metal-based, takes a design and converts it directly into the materials. And that's one of the areas where it really lends itself to digital manufacturing. If you have somebody in our Auburn Hills facility who's designed just a par excellence tool, now we can make that available to anybody who has a printer in their facility. Every aspect of the process has been significantly improved by having this ability within our facility. Uh, first being time, second being more creativity, third is cost, fourth being materials. We've seen between 30 and 40 percent savings on the tooling. We've also seen 80 percent savings on delivery time to our factories. So our internal customers, our manufacturing engineers and test engineers are beginning to recognize that there are much more creative solutions that can be identified and on the customer side of things directly. They love everything about the fact that it's flexible, they are able to ask for a solution and in a matter of hours we may be able to provide them with something. We are pursuing the option of installing higher capability 3D printers as well as developing an infrastructure to further support the expansion of our customers' needs. So it's really gone from a what can we do to a what can we do now? Because we're always looking for that next big thing that we can accomplish.